So let's just jump into it. So I tried something new for this video at the beginning. Hopefully, hopefully I edited it right. Let me know what you guys thought of that opening. I'm, I'm kind of curious. All right, so this of course is the Kingdom Hearts Proud Mode walkthrough. We are here in Traverse Town. We just got here and we met Sid. Now if you jump up here, you can open this chest and you will find a Mithril Shard. Now we can also talk to Sid and we can sell all of those pretty stones that we got over in the Destiny Islands. So let's do that. I want to sell. Go to stock and go down to your uh, pretty stones and you can literally sell them all. All you have to do is hit the back button on the directional pad or on your analog stick. Just go, uh, not back button, go uh, hit to your left and you'll get to pretty stones. We're going to sell 41 of them for $4,100. That's a lot. And then you can go and buy if you want and you can get the ability stud or the obsidian ring, uh, or thun any of these you can get. Uh, I would kind of suggest getting the fire ring right now, only because of a fight coming up. There is, the boss uses uh, fire based attacks, so I would suggest getting the fire ring. Something I will add just because. So the items that Sid sells actually changes uh, throughout the game. Right now he offers these, but after a certain world, uh, after Agrabah, actually, he will offer uh, basically the upgraded version of these items, and then after a certain event in the game, he offers the best ones that he will. So, that's just for your information. So I would suggest, I would suggest getting the Fire Ring. The Fire Ring would help, uh, so I'm gonna grab that. Of course, we have enough where we could probably get one of all of these items, to be honest. Uh, but we're also going to get the Ability Stud and the Obsidian Ring. Obviously, we totally still have enough to get everything, so you know what? We're going to do it. Look at that. Still have over a thousand, a thousand money. Awesome. And, of course, I'm just going to equip those real quick. I'm actually going to equip the... I'm going to equip the Fire Ring, because for abilities, we actually don't need that many yet. And don't forget, you got Berserk if you hit level 9, if you pick the shield. Boost attack power when HP is critically low. Can't beat that. Alright, so let's continue. Right here, you'll see a Trinity Mark. I don't remember if I talked about that in the last video. I probably didn't. But that needs our full party, which we can't get to. We can also light this fire uh, once we have fire, but we don't have that yet. You can also examine this crystal here. Attention customers, you can synthesize items like this on, on our, uh, like this one on our second floor. Wow, what a crystal. Unfortunately, you can't get to the second floor yet. So let's continue through and actually, you know, introduce you to Traverse Town. Right here, you will find a mailbox. At this mailbox, you can actually uh, send postcards. And for every postcard you send, you actually get a pretty good item. So let's keep an eye out for those. Over here, you'll find a chest right here. You can't open it though, there must be a secret. You have to basically destroy all of these candles and chairs, and you can really only do that with the blizza blizzard spell. So you can talk to these people if you so choose, but first what we're going to do is we are going to go into this room right here, which is the item shop. And you'll see some very familiar characters. It's Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and you can talk to them and they, you know, say some things, nothing too great. Uh, it does, they do change every so often about who's actually running the, the shop, so are you looking to buy or maybe you have something to sell? And then you can shop, you want to buy, and here you can buy, uh, healing items. Now, we actually have a ton of potions and a few high potions and ethers, we don't have any MP so I don't care about, intense I also don't really care about right now, so I'm not gonna waste any money on any of those. You can also, you know, come over here and do nothing, stand on a scale. I don't, does the scale move? No. I, you know, don't know. And he doesn't have anything. So we can go up here and we can get one of our first items. So you want to jump up here. I don't know why I missed. Jump up here and hit the, the thing and you'll get a postcard. Just like I said you would. 
Now there's also another postcard in this area that we can grab fairly quickly. So if we run around here, and go this way, we might not be able to right now, but I'm pretty sure we can't. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. So he doesn't let us jump up because he's right there. And if you talk to this Moogle real quick, you'll see that they want to open a synthesis shop. And once you jump on this barrel, you can jump on this house. This is when it gets a little, a little trickier. So you can jump from here. Not from here, that's not what I meant to do. I think you can jump from here and land on the other side. That was not what I meant to do. And there we go. So you just jump on and Sora will kind of hang on and you'll find a chest up here. And inside you'll find a postcard. Look at us go. That's pretty much all you can find in this little spot. And of course you can break the boxes if you so choose. You can also lift them to basically stack them up and get up there a little bit easier, but you know what? I didn't even think of doing that. Eventually, you can open that safe, but you can't right now. So let's hop down and let's go right here and give these two postcards. Sent the first one and we got a cottage. Sent the second one, and we get a Mithril Shard. Now if you talk to this Moogle, the first district is the only safe place. This is the first district of Traverse Town. This guy, who looks like a Titus, he literally looks like Titus with dark hair, I don't know. I keep seeing new faces today, an odd pair walked by just a little while ago. And you can talk to this Esmeralda looking chick. Those candles burning over there were especially created by Moogles. Even if you snuff one out, it flickers back to life in no time. You'd probably need magic to put them all out. You are correct. You are totally correct. And we can't leave yet or anything, so let's continue on with where we're actually supposed to go. So we want to hop all the way back up to where that blue safe was where we tried getting on the house. So if we come up here, we can go this way now. And we'll be greeted by not a pretty sight. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like Heartless have followed us to Traverse Town. That's not good. It's those creatures from the island. Or not Heartless, because we don't know that they're Heartless yet. And, but these ones drop money now, which is great, because money is awesome. So, just what you would normally do, run around and gather the money, though, while you can, before it runs away. Sometimes if you finish up the battle, though, the money will disappear and you lose out. It doesn't stay forever. Okay, so obviously we saw that guy. He looks like he's kind of, you know, heartless. Like he doesn't have a heart. Interesting. So we want to jump up here, and if I could play this game right. I don't know what's going on with me today. Okay, let's do this again. Jump! And we caught it. Alright, so up here at the boots and shoes, you will find another postcard. And then we want to continue this way, but we'll kind of be attacked. You're going to be attacked throughout the area. But that's okay. They're easy. They go down really easy. So we want to go here, jump on this ledge, and jump across. Not that it matters, because you can just do this. I don't know why I even... And we want to jump onto this right here. And then jump onto this, and right here, and open this chest. And find a Mega Potion. A Mega Potion acts like a potion, but for everyone in your party, so don't use it while you just have Sora. And we're not able to jump up there, but that's okay. So let's go back over here. In this courtyard, you'll find the most Heartless. There's a ton waiting for you. So the next place that we want to go is we want to go into this hotel. And upon doing this, you'll see Donald and Goofy enter the area. 
and you can see these rooms and you can't really go into any of them right now but it's the only way that you can see that little uh, thing of Goofy and them in entering into the area. So that's going to bring us around here. And now we want to go up here into like this gizmo shop. And of course you can kill the Heartless if you so choose. And into the gizmo shop. And look, Donald and Goofy again. And in here, you're going to be bombarded by Heartless. And you can just keep killing them, but they're going to come in uh, increased increments of them. They're going to double, basically, every time. So there was one, now there's two, now there's three. So they're not going to double. Why did I think they were going to double? And we got our first item drop off of one of these, which is a Lucid Shard. Now, those are used for synthesizing uh, items, so uh, anything like that is really worth keeping. I think this is the final wave of them. There's about ten there, so... And, nope! This was probably the final wave. And it was. Awesome. And then you can leave Gizmo Shop. And if you so choose, you could see this ladder, but you can't actually use it yet. Which is very weird. And then you can drop down here, and you'll see this room right here. This is the Dalmatian's house. And Goofy and Donald again. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Alright, we can do that. That's basically all it says. They're just sad and they want their puppies. So while we're going through that the entire game, we can kind of be looking for the puppies as we go. They're always, almost always located in chest. Sometimes they're located in trinities. And we can just leave the Dalmatian's house. And this is going to bring us out into the alleyway, which we haven't been to yet. The alleyway is also infested with Heartless. Or these shadow monsters, I should say. And you can also hop up here. And you can jump up to these actual balconies, and there's another chest right here. The only thing is, is you can't use it until you're not in combat anymore. So I basically just made myself go into combat. That's... Okay, so now we can open up this chest and we'll find a potion. And then we can hop all the way across, if we so choose, to pretty much ignore all of the enemies. And you can't actually get into any of these rooms yet. But that's okay. I could have sworn. There we go. So there's another chest on the opposite end of these balconies right here, which has a pretty stone. Which, cool. And there's another chest if you drop down right here, but you have to kill these shadows first. And then open this chest, and you will find a potion. And then you're done here. So as soon as you're done, just head through this door right here into the second district. Which we've already been in, so... And from here, you can skip these enemies if you want. Uh, I'm just going to kill them real quick. And once you're done, you just want to head back to the first district. And you'll see that the first district is no longer safe. There's actually Heartless in it, which is not good. So we want to continue. Now, you can hop down if you choose. It's not going to matter, but let's do it anyways. And you'll find, of course, these guys are going to be sitting here waiting for you. And you want to continue down here. 
and you'll see these guys still attacking you. So, now what, you ask? Well, you can head to the accessory shop. Actually, you have to. So go into the accessory shop and talk to Sid. Still haven't found him, huh? Keep your chin up. Take another look around town. What do you need? Oh, nothing. And then leave again. Now, you could save if you choose. I don't know why I did not. It was dumb of me. And they'll upon leaving... Out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. Alright. Then have it your way. It's Squall! Kind of. It looks like Squall. He's got the scar and everything. So, watch out for those fire blasts, and then you can hit him real quick, and then back away from him, because he's going to come at you. This is why we have the fire ring equipped, is for, and then he's going to hit us again, and let's see if we can try to counter that. Now, you can actually deflect his swords, uh, his... Uh, fire blast back at him and that will hurt him so you just want to watch out for those let's see if he's going to do another one he's going to swing his sword a couple times swing, swing it again and it's so fast I'm not going to use a potion now you can lose this fight this is the fight I was talking about that you can lose. You can lose and the story will still progress, but I would suggest winning because you will, you can and will get an elixir for winning this fight. So I'm gonna pop down and use a potion because obviously an elixir is more useful. I am stuck in a loop here. There we go, and we beat him. No way. Leon's down. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. Guys, look who it is. It's Yuffie, the world's greatest ninja. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Oh, I did fine. I beat you up. Shut up. Shut up, Squall. And? So this is a scene that I do not think was in the original game. I think this was added in Final Mix. We can see Riku here at this random place, and we see somebody else with him. Or watching him. Gorge, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Back to Donald and Goofy. I'm not scared. Yeah, okay. Excuse me. And Did the king send you? It's Aerith! She lives! Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. Kyrie? We found her! You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? Huh? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? Oh, Sora's been taking drugs Squall. again. 
That's Leon. Oh, he doesn't like to be called Squall. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The Heartless. The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Squall would know hey, better than most. have you heard of someone named Ansem? No, who's Ansem? I am Sam. He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge, oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red! Trust me, Ninjaki! That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Hmm. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island? Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. And now the story is explained to us, basically, of what's going on. So, it looks like, if we talk to Yuffie again, since I quickly went through that, we can talk to Yuffie, and she'll tell us, hey, cheer up. Oh, wait, think of this as an adventure. Oh, wait, I heard that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try the next time you find a treasure chest or door lock. And right here, we can test that out on this locked chest, and we will get an elixir. Gnarly, dudes, gnarly. Now you can look at this picture, and it says 1800, time flies. Hmm. Well, if you come up here, you can actually strike this clock. If I wasn't such a mess. There we go. So we hit once. So you want to keep doing this and just hit the clock. You kind of have to hit like on the side there. And you heard that, right? Hmm. Doesn't seem like anything happened. You can see these two midday jungle. Interesting. Bald mountain, 7 a.m. Huh. So you can keep jumping and hitting this. And we heard another one, but nothing appeared. Interesting. Keep hitting it. And there it is. So you heard that, right? That unlocked this chest right here, which will give us a mithril, which is another item used for synthesis. Now we can talk to Leon, or Squall. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You'd best prepare yourself. Prepare myself to fight for your life. Are you ready? Once you're ready, say, yeah, I am. Yuffie, let's go join Aerith. She should be there by now with the other visitors. Leon! Yuffie, Boom! Go. That is a new type of heartless Yuffie. enemy. And you can kind of see, if you let's remember, go. there's actually a difference between this version of that monster and the original game. There's actually a slight color difference. Oh, Disney. Are we ever going to run into Donald and Goofy? Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. He says don't bother. 
don't listen to him at all. These guys are really, really great experience points. These guys give you, uh, I believe, two each kill. So, or three. Nice. So we want to just take it, take care of them. Just get them out of the way. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. And they also give you more money than the other ones. So, better rewards means well worth it. I'm going down. And these are very common enemies that you will see a lot. Okay, now that he's down, we're gonna go through here and into the second district. Now we've actually, there's three districts and we haven't actually been to the third one yet. So that's, that's, a, that's a thing that we haven't done. So we need to do that. But first we're going to kill these soldiers. Now you can examine these bells, but there's nothing on there. So we want to continue this way, and we're going to find more enemies, and I, I would suggest killing them. Look at that, we leveled up. We're now level 10. Our HP went up. Good. But, before we head to the third district, there's actually somewhere else we should go, and that's actually back to the first district. There's actually a, a kind of a secret that you don't actually really know is there. Uh, it's just an item, but nevertheless, we should grab it. So, in the first district, you'll see Leon's here, and you can talk to him. Is secure. If you run into trouble, come back here. Uh, and also, you will also find uh, you, uh, Yuffie and Aerith are here as well. So, if you talk to Aerith, she'll say, So, you're the Keyblade Master. Please be careful. And she'll give you a makeup potion. And right here, you can turn in your postcards while you're here. If you have any, we only had that one. And you can talk to Yuffie, who just says, The first district is all clear, but I don't know about the third district. That's because that's where we have to go. So, let's head back to the third district. Now, if you don't get that item from Aerith now, you can't get it later. So, you know, get it now. So, back in the second district, the, all of the enemies are going to respawn. So, you don't have to really worry about killing them unless you're kind of grinding for experience points. Or most of them, anyways. And then we want to go into this alleyway, which we haven't actually gone into yet. And we're going to be jumped by a few enemies. We'll take them down. Why not? And we want to continue into this district right here. So, this is the third district. And we'll come down here and... Looks like Donald and Goofy have discovered the Heartless. He's the Heartless guys? Okay. I think we found Donald and Goofy. Okay. And two bosses in one video. Oh my god, we're going crazy. But not yet. We have to defeat wave upon wave of enemies. There's actually not that many enemies. So we'll have a bunch of these soldiers to kill. Now, uh, now with the inclusion of Donald and Goofy into the party, you don't want to hog all of the health for yourself. Now, I will say though that if Donald and Goofy die, you don't die. You still can win. So pick your pick your poison. All right. Now we've completed that wave. Now it's time for the boss, and this is the guard armor boss. The guard armor has 700 health and gives you 110 experience upon dying, and gives you a really great item called the Brave Warrior, which is a really good accessory. Now the Guard armor is made out of different parts, and different ones have certain amounts of health. So what we want to focus on first is actually the hands. The hands have the least amount of health, so you can take those down the quickest. I would suggest doing that because of its spinning attack that it does. Now, if you are able to block it like that, you can actually knock the arms down, and they will be immobile sitting on the ground. So as you can see, we're taking some damage, but not a lot. And upon killing one of these arms, or... Uh, surfaces, I guess you could say. Uh, it will drop a ton of health for you. So we got one down. And we are going to have to deal with the arm spinning again. But if you hit it, it will stop spinning. 
and you basically just want to keep attacking no matter what. The feet hurt, but they're a little bit slower. The arms are what need to go down. And we got one of the arms down, so now we're going to focus on taking down the feet. Now technically you could focus on the armor uh, itself, like the chest portion, but I would suggest taking down the, the amenities and stuff first. And there we go, feet down, only the body is left. And the body's going to start spinning, and as you can see, Donald's actually down. So what I'm going to do is I can actually use a potion on Donald. Just to get him back into the fight. And there we go! Donald and Goofy leveled up. Down goes Guard Armor. That's like your first real boss of the game. I would say. Easy peasy though, Lemon Squeezy. I just broke something. I, I think I just broke something. Shh, don't tell. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Oh, Donald. Sora, go with them. Okay, thanks, Especially Leon. if you want to find your boss. Friends. Yeah, I guess. This is my favorite part of the game. Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. All right. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. You got it, dude. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Hmm, who is he? Oh, she's the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? Ah, ah, ah. That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat friends are the king's lackeys. Swap on the eyes, they're all built traps by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! Oh, ho The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Uh, it's Maleficent. She's my favorite. So it looks like there's a rogues gallery of sorts that want to kill us. Good. Bring it on, I say. James Woods. Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here. They got some pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us, and you'll obtain 500 money. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon. This is if you beat him. So since we beat him, we got an elixir. Good for us. I hope you find your friends. Me too. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. 
The gummy ship is outside that gate. So we also now have access to the gummy ship. You can teleport to it from save points. Not all save points let you board the gummy ship. The what? That's our ship. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Sora, this is for you. And you obtain the power of fire. Learned magic spell, fire. Select magic to cast spells. To cast quickly, assign spells to shortcut menus in the customize menu. Casting spells consumes MP. Using ethers to, or striking enemies replenishes MP. Now you can use magic too. Goofy, give him that other thing. What? You know. Oh yeah. And you'll get dodge roll. Activate abilities by equipping them. Some abilities are used by pressing square, others work automatically. Equip them in the abilities menu, activating them requires AP. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way. Let's get going, not till we're ready. And Jiminy Cricket, don't forget about him. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. So, cool. So let's look into what we've gotten for equipment. So the first thing that I would say is go into Sora and equip him with the Brave Warrior. It's significantly more powerful than any other things he could have right now. And I would also say we're going to give him the Obsidian Ring just to make his strength a little bit stronger. Uh, and we don't need to really protect against fire right now or any of these. So we're going to go with those. Now you can also equip Donald and Goofy with uh, certain things. I would say since Donald only has one AP, I would give him Ability Stud. Goofy should have more AP, he has three, and you can equip him with whatever you see fit. We're going to give him Fire Ring and Blizzard Ring. Those are the only things that we have right now. We can go into our abilities and we can also equip Dodge Roll. Dive and roll to evade attacks by pressing the square button while moving. I'll show you that in a second. We'll equip Donald with Berserk and Goofy with Jackpot, absolutely, and Rocket. Very, very cool. And journal. This is your journal menu, which we will be completing in its entirety. So we can see there's characters here. You can see each individual character that you've met so far. Uh, there's the side characters. There's even your enemies. You can see how many you've killed and what they are. Very cool stuff. You can also see bosses. And chronicles. It will tell your story. Very cool. Very cool. Now there's actually some loose ends to tie up here, so we should talk about that. So we can, of course, go right here and you'll find, hey, look at this mark. That's a trinity mark. This is a trinity mark. They appear in many places, only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity mo moves besides these marks. And all you have to do is press triangle and you'll activate this. Which will bring us up here to a new chest. And we can just open this chest and get a postcard. And you can hop down here and you can talk to them if you want. Nothing too important. They don't really say anything. They just kind of tell you to things, hint at stuff. Hmm. Interesting. We already did that, so, and of course we can't open this yet. And there's another blue trinity mark right here that you can use. Now you can only use the blue ones right here. And this will give us a ton of money. Obviously you can see the bigger the money, the more money it actually has. So in that one alone it had 107. Not bad. And let's go turn in the postcard. Now you can actually send six your first time here in Destiny Islands. Or Destiny Islands. Traverse Town! We're in Traverse Town! So we are going to tie up the loose ends in this video, so I apologize if it's a little long. I will heavily edit it. So let's go up here and to this blue chest that we couldn't open before, but now that we know that our Keyblade opens up locks, we can open it, and we'll get another postcard. From here, we want to go directly into the second district. I'll try to do this quickly. So we want to go into the hotel. There shouldn't be any enemies here at all, for now. And we want to find the red room. Is this the red room? This is the green room. I'm stupid. And you'll see some stuff in here, nothing big. And you can go in here, this is the red room. This is where Donald and Goofy were. Uh, and you will actually find a chest in here that has a pretty stone. And then you can leave. 
And now we want to head to Gizmo's sh Gizmo shop. And we just want to head all the way through the shop and use that ladder that is now not broken. Some would say fixed. It's now fixed. And you can just climb it on up. Climb it on up. And you'll see this. You can't get in there yet. And we want to run this way all the way across. And you'll have to jump here onto this landing. Go up here. And you'll see this chest right here, which has a mithril shard. And then from here, you can actually go directly in here, and that will bring us to the third district. And here, you'll see this is the balcony that the, the soldiers appeared on that blew uh, Donald and Goofy off. And right in this corner, you'll find another postcard. And now you can hop down here. Now, you can't actually do much here. There's not a lot. Later on, we can open that. We can use thunder there and open it. You can use this to open the doors, so now you can directly get to the third district from the first district, which is really great. Up here, we'll find another Trinity Mark that we can use. And we want to head down here. There's nothing else that we can do in the third district except for this. This is a door that clearly has a flame on it. So, if you hold down L1, you can cast fire. fire. And that will open this door. Mystical house. Now, you'll see this really cool looking house. But, we're not exploring that in this video. Sorry. Hee 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 hee. So back in the third district, we're going to turn in the last two uh, postcards that you can get this time, and we'll get a mithril, and we will get an elixir, which is gnarly, and that's all we can do. That is it for Traverse Town. That's absolutely all you can do. So once you're ready to leave, you can go to the world exit, and this will automatically board you in the gummy ship. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars means stronger heartless in that world. And you can go this way and see a one battle star, or you can go this way and see a two battle star. Pretty cool, and it looks like you have pretty much like free reign, which is weird. So we can't actually go to the castle yet, but you can totally see it there. And yeah, so the next place that we want to head is technically to this world. I'm undecided what I want to do. We might go here, we might not. And for us, that concludes this portion of the Kingdom Hearts uh, Final Mix Pro out difficulty setting thing. We did Traverse Town and it was freaking awesome. Good place to go. Next, we will probably, you know what, we will. We are going to Wonderland next. Wonderland. It'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything I can improve upon, please, please, please leave it in the comments below. I like to hear some feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender.